Thank you. Hi. Now next recurrence relation. I have an example algorithm here. I'll prepare a recurrence relation and I will solve it. Now this time I may not be explaining each and everything. Already I have explained previous recurrence relation. The approach is same. So if you want explanation, you can watch at least one of the previous uh, recurrence relation. Numbers are given beside the video. So you can check that. This one, I'll just solve it with little bit of explanation. Let us find out a recurrence relation for this function. If I say this is taking t n time, then inside this, these are the three main statements. This is taking one unit of time. Then how much time this takes? t, as this test is taking n, so t n, so test of n minus 1 will be t n minus 1. And also will be t n minus 1. Then this is t n is equals to all these. So t n is equals to 2 t n minus 1 plus 1. Now the recurrence relation will be t n is equals to 2 t n minus 1 plus 1 for n greater than 0 and when n equal to 0 it is constant I take 1. Now let us solve this using recursion tree method. Right? Tn. Now from the algorithm also I can see it is printing and calling itself two times. Printing and calling itself two times. So for printing it takes one unit of time and then it calls itself for n minus 1 and again call itself for n minus 1. Then what about this? This again 1 and call itself for n minus 2. Call itself for n minus 2. And this also 1 and t n minus 2 and t n minus 2. Now what about these? Again 1 t n minus 3 t n minus 3 1 t n minus 3 t n minus 3 then here also 1 t n minus 3 t n minus 3 this one is 1 t n minus 3 t n minus 3 if I go on doing it until when until they are reaching till t0 or t0 because here n is 0 that is the smallest value I know so I want to keep on reducing it up to 0. Now let us find out time for this one. See in this step what is the time taken just it is taking one unit of time and then I have to find out the time for this one and this one and add them. So I don't know how much time this is taking. So if I look at this one then this is taking one unit of time and further this one. And this one is also taking one unit of time and further this one. So let us add these two. So this is two. So each is taking one one unit of time. So that I have taken two. Further, these are also there. Now if I take these, one, 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 four. Then in the next step, if I expand these also, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight steps. This will go on. So if I write this, this is 1, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, and this is 2 power 3. So how many times it will proceed? So as we have been doing for k times, so let us say this will go for k times, 2 power k times. Then it will become 0. At 2 power k, this will become 0. Now total time, how much is the time? 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus 2 cube plus so on. Now let me add all these then I get the total time of this one. So I'll remove this and add them. Now it is 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus 2 cube plus goes on to 2 power k. This is sum of the terms of GP series and this will be 
टू पावर के प्लस वन माइनस वन हाउ आई गॉट दिस आई विल शो यू दिस द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम यूजिंग इट सो आई विल शो यू If there is a GP series a plus a r plus a r square plus a r cube plus goes on to a r power k, r is a common ratio. A is a first term, and this are the sum of the terms of GP series. This is GP series. What is the answer for this one? A r to the power of k plus one minus one by r minus one. This is the formula. in this series what is a a is equals to 1 what is r r is equals to 2 it is getting multiplied by 2 every time so if i put this in this formula then 1 into 2 power k plus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 so this is 1 only so finally it is 2 power k plus 1 minus 1 so this is how i got the answer so directly i have written this one now as per the assumption already we were doing assume n minus k is equals to 0 so therefore we were assuming it as n equal to k so what is k here n so the answer is 2 power n plus 1 minus 1 and this is order of 2 power n so it is 2 power n or theta or bigo this belongs to class 2 power n now i'll show you another method by using substitute back substitution method we will solve it so i'll remove everything and i will simply solve this recurrence solution okay. now let us solve this using back substitution method so i'll take a recurrence solution tn is equals to 2tn minus 1 plus 1 this is the first one now what is this one i'll directly substitute this So T n is equals to two as it is. Now this can be written as two T n minus two plus one, and this plus one as it is. If I open this, two square T n minus two plus one, sorry two and plus one. That's it. So this is the second equation I got after first substitution. Again, if I substitute t n minus two, this is two square two t n minus three plus one, and outside this two and one are there. If I open this two cube t n minus three plus two square into one, two square plus two plus one. So this is the third equation I got. how this is happening you should know already right i am not elaborating the steps if i continue this for k time so this tn will be 2 power k tn minus k plus 2 power c when this is 3 this is 3 so this is 2 so k minus 1 when this is k this is k so k minus 1 plus 2 power k minus 2 plus goes on to 2 power 2 plus 2 plus 1 and this is the fourth equation i have now this equation i'll write here and continue fourth equation i'll write tn is equals to 2 power k tn minus k plus 2 power k minus 1 plus 2 power k minus 2 plus goes on to 2 square plus 2 plus 1 we assume always n minus k is zero see all these are decreasing functions n is reducing subtracting functions right decreasing or decreasing function so in this one always we are taking n is equals to zero and this we are getting it as one we are taking it as one so when n is equals to zero that is the smallest value so we assume that this n minus k has become zero So when this is zero, n is equals to k, right? Now this is two power n, t of zero plus what is this? I'll write it from that side. One plus two plus two square plus goes on to two power k minus one. 
this will be 2 power n into 1 t0 is 1 then plus this is equal to what 2 power k minus 1 so this will be 2 power n plus 2 power k is 2 power n minus 1 so this is 2 power n plus 1 minus 1 this is big O of 2 power n or theta of 2 power n that's it it is 2 power n now i'll show you master's theorem for decreasing function so in next video you can watch master's theorem for decreasing function